What's up guys? We're going into a uh, clear, uh, hopefully an all mission clear on Fujin and Rajin. Uh, it's party four or less, uh, clear within five turns. So uh, again, we're going to pretend, pretend like every, everyone's EX1, Squall and uh, Zell. I mean, Zell here is EX1. Um, both Squall and Zell, if you've been playing the event, you should be able to get to EX1. But anyway, everyone's got a little bit of wind resist and uh, some evasion. If you can gear for full evasion, all the better. The bosses don't have um, any accuracy. So we've got Squall here with 275 Human Killer, uh, 300 LB, and uh, 90 Evasion. So they do some physical attacks and some wind magic attacks. So there is a wind in peril, but it doesn't hit very hard. So here's his gear, hopefully somewhat accessible and cheap uh, gear. So just a generic attack card. Uh, Zell here, um, just whatever, a whatever card. Um, yeah, I, I was just coming up a little short on damage trying to do this with just Squall so I mean I figure we have both Squall and Zell free from uh, recent events so might as well just throw him in there um, yeah water elemental weapon um, other than that just some evasion and wind resist he is at 300 human 250 LB and 80 evasion. So he's with his, you know, stat bonuses for this event. Um, he's got more than enough HP to survive. So there's that. Selfie, just full evasion. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much all that matters. And some wind resist. And Cypher, uh, he's passive provoking. I don't know if having a ton of wind resist on him makes much of a difference. I don't know if there are any single target magic attacks, but again, they, they hit, so um, they just don't hit very hard. So um, anyway, he's got Irony's ring on. He has Faraga learned innately. Uh, we gave him Ring of the Lucy Eye just because it has a slow casting black magic skill so that he the chain doesn't break when he's chaining Chaos Wave Awakened with Selfie. And I guess they do some status ailments. Uh, we're going to be getting immunity from Selfie, though. And he is on Tetra Selfie with Bar Aroga Learned. <clears throat> So, honestly, I mean, you could do any Final Fantasy VIII character that has some sort of uh, black magic August skill learned or can equip, you know, uh, Aga black magic ability and put an Irony's ring on them and they're suddenly a quadcaster. But anyway, uh, this turn we're just going to borrow Rogo with Cypher. Selfie is going to put up Slot Wall for some general mitt um, boost for some status immunity, and then uh, Slot. Squall is going to uh, Flame Barret, Rough Divide, and Flame Barret. I'm not sure, not even sure that... Uh, We need to worry about breaking defense this turn. We'll do Flame Barret for... Or how about this? We do Accelerator for a Fire and Peril. Flame Barret for a Fire and Bew. And then Accelerator again. So we'll target one, start Squall, and then just retarget the other. Just so we get them both imperiled to Fire. And Zell this turn, he can, uh, let's see, just water and peril on both of them. So 
So there you go. The you know, odds were in our favor. We just evaded everything. Even if we took some hits, Squall and Zell would have been fine. So now we are just going to, from here on out, we're going to reload um, Selfie and Cypher. We'll just water go with Selfie and triple Faraga with Cypher and then just death. Uh, Squall this turn is just going to cap Rough Divide. Uh, actually, sorry. He is going to... We choose to fight back and then Rough Divide a couple times. We'll target Rajan. He's a little bulkier. Zell this turn is going to... I'm not a chicken. And then kick. So we'll send the back row and then the front row. And we'll just try to cap the Chaos Wave Awaken Chain with the front row. Oh, just kicks a multi hit, apparently. Let's see. Oh, yeah, three hits. Damn it. That's annoying. Confused and some, uh, tornado. Which at this point we're resisting, but now we're imperiled to win. But again, we don't take that much damage. Squall is just going to rough divide three times again. Zell is going to. We'll go ahead and LB with him. Not sure on the timing of his LB. Um, we're going to send him, count the four, and then send the back row and then send squall right after so and again we still got rajan targeted Okay, and again, we're pretending like we don't have an SLB from anyone just yet, so we're just going to reload Squall. Um, Zell can... Oh, this is a single hit. I mean, it's such low damage, it doesn't even really matter, I feel, don't feel like. Um, we'll just reapply his water in peril, I guess. So we'll just target one, switch targets. So in this turn, though, we're going to target Fujin just to chip her down a little bit. So again, we're, we're just triple chaos wave awakened with the back row and then rough dividing three times with Squall. So yeah, there, there's our big, <clears throat> our big wind damage turn. So now we're going to SLB with these two. Actually, we'll just reload the back row. SLB with the front row. Turn again. We'll send Zell, count to four or so. Send Cypher and Selfie, wait a sec, and then send Squall. Hopefully this could be the fight. I think we might have been a little late on Zell there, but it doesn't matter. So, there you go. Free-ish free, free -ish units. I mean, if you had timed Zell's LB correctly, um, he would have capped. And even if Squall didn't finish them off, Zell would have, so... Um, do yeah. So, my Zell isn't potted at all. His LB is at, like, 25 or something, if that. 
So not even fully leveled up. So as long as you have a strong squall, Zell just kind of finishes off that last like five to ten percent that squall can't finish if yours is you know ex one or ex two. But should be all missions. Yep. There we go. Thanks for watching. Hope it helped.